Hey, Ronit Schmuckles, don't mind my hair, I just woke up. So, data miner Mr. X found Hattie Kayer and Observer audio files within the DBD game files. They're pretty much character grunts of pain. Here's the Hattie Kayer one, it's called Kayer underscore groan in the game files. So does this confirm that Hattie Care is the next survivor in Dead by Daylight? I'm not really sure. I don't know if there's some backdoor way where this actually isn't going to be the survivor grunts of pain while injured. To me, it really does sound like this could be the sound effects that we are hearing in game while Hattie Care is injured, but I'm not 100% sure. There's also like a really weird sound effect in the middle of it. I'm not sure what that is. But the most compelling piece of information to me is that it's called Care underscore grown and was found inside the game files. Mr. X said that the observer audio files are encrypted, so they're actually not playable. So I don't know what it sounds like, but the file name suggests that it's observer grunt noises. It could be like a killer grunt, like for example, when a killer gets stunned by a pallet, or it could be a survivor grunt of pain. So a couple things here, the observer is seen in the tome cutscene, so I'm not sure if these grunts of pain are associated with those video cutscenes, or if these are grunts that are gonna be heard if the observer becomes a playable character. All the way back in September, a data miner actually found the observer located in the campers folder in the DVD game files. In the DVD pack files, the camper folder is like the survivor folder. So it looks like this could be a model for the observer as a playable character in DVD, possibly a survivor. If that's not what this is, there are two other possibilities that I can think of. One is that this is the model that's used within the tome cutscenes. To me, the cutscenes in general look like 2D animations, meaning that they're hand drawn every time and they're not 3D models, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm sure someone watching this video will have a better understanding of that and you should comment in the comments below if you have any information on that. The second possibility is that this 3D model is the model that sits in the chair when you're looking at the archives. So those two ways that I just talked about are two possible ways where this is not a DVD survivor. I I find it really interesting that this is in the camper folder in the DVD pack files. That might suggest that the Observer and Hattie are coming in as two survivor characters for the anniversary, which we've never seen an original chapter with two survivors. I don't know if they'd ever make the Observer the killer. I've seen that theory floating around. I'm not really sure what to make of that. Just know in general, the devs kind of said they would never bring in the Observer as a playable character in DVD. So all of this kind of goes against that, but behavior constantly is changing their mind behind the scenes. So I'm not really sure. And I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I know exactly what's going on because I don't. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to continue this series with me and kind of figure out what the heck's going on for chapter 24. Another thing too is that in the pack files it looks like there are animations for the observer. The data miner who found this in September found that the observer was in the campers folder and under the observer file there was an animation folder so it looks like he's animated too. I find all of this pretty compelling for what that anniversary chapter is going to be looking like. The only thing that I find that's kind of off with this whole observer coming into the game theory is that DBD leaks said the anniversary survivor is Hattie Kayer. There was no mention of the observer as a survivor. There was no plural on the word survivors so it kind of seems like dbd leaks was suggesting that there would be one survivor with that chapter so there's definitely some conflicting information here and i'm tr still trying to make sense of it if the observer's coming in as the new killer i don't know why he'd be seen in the camper folder and not the slasher folder in the dead by daylight pack files so i'm still working out the pieces we'll get more information soon to me it seems like the anniversary chapter might be coming in with one to two survivors with still i really still believe that og babadook theory is true so we'd be looking at an original babadook character or a character based on the babadook coming in with hattie pop possibly the observers in the picture somewhere. The official DVD account tweeted out today this picture of the observer missing from his room. So there are a lot of theories that the observer somehow connected to the anniversary chapter. I think it's pretty interesting how the Oris is still in the picture. This is a device that allows him to travel to like different dimensions. He can go back and look at memories and stories within the entity's realm. The device also allows him to be invisible and unseen from the entity. The fact that the Oris is still in the room there means that wherever the observer is, he doesn't have those powers right now. In general, it looks like the room's been ransacked or somebody's been looking for something. Thing. And then there's footsteps leaving the room. There's no sign of like a forced entry. It looks like the observer was somehow abducted though. I'm not sure who abducted the observer, when the observer is coming back, or if the observer is going to bring something back. We'll have to wait and see. Behavior is only throwing pieces of the puzzle at us right now. We're three months out from the anniversary chapter being announced, so I'm not sure that they give us enough information to be able to make any serious observations right now. Like this definitely could be a piece of a bigger puzzle, but literally there just isn't enough information to make the conclusion that we're going to find out later. Going back to that leaked map last year, I got a lot of comments comments from my subscribers. Robotech on Twitter said that the three stairs and the winding stairs could be used as kind of a test to see if the top of the model will match the bottom of the same one. So it seems like these models could be testing these kinds of things and not necessarily a new map. I've been hearing that a lot, that these leaks aren't necessarily a new map, but just testing things. Somebody even said that it might be the zoo realm that we talked about before. So these are things that they're possibly testing that we could see come into the game later. Like that structure right there looks like it came in in the Eerie of Crows. The winding staircase to me still kind of seems like that'd be seen in a castle. So maybe we'd see some winding stairs 
features like that implemented in a castle map in the future. I've also seen some really compelling evidence for what that anniversary banner might be teasing. It looks exactly like this spider leg, which was seen in one of the tome cutscenes. That's pretty insanely close to what the six looks like to me. I saw that the king posted about the blue markings on the skull and somebody posted this picture of Predator and I thought those look kind of similar. Would behavior bring in an original character with a licensed survivor? I don't really know. My subscribers seem to think it's possible and DBD leaks didn't actually clarify if it was a licensed or original killer. We also know that Kate was supposed to come in with the Leatherface chapter and she was pushed back to the clown anniversary chapter because they just ran out of time. But from my understanding, the original survivor Kate Denson with the licensed Leatherface was something that was on the cards. So I'm not really sure. I still think the most likely thing is the original Babadook killer. Anyways, I'm really tired. I'm gonna go to bed. Good night.